vampire and dragon defeated. Oh, we had our fun. Finished every quest released in 2001. 22 full years of questing, banking a death we cannot do. RuneScape 3, Harker Ultimate Iron Man, questing through 2002. Welcome back to August 27th, 2002. We've got updates. Well, one update. But first, a little anecdote. On September 4th, 2002, there was a news post released asking for people to vote for RuneScape for Online Game of the Year in the Golden Joystick Awards. They will not win this golden joystick. There is more of those in the future. Especially for online game of the year. It's a bit early for that. The eventual winner of the 2002 online game of the year golden joystick award was Counter-Strike. Slightly different. Slightly different game. Either way, not really an update or anything. So we move swiftly along to September 9th, 2002, where we get a new quest. And also a new area where the vast majority of the quest takes, pla takes place. Right over here, outside our doing, in the corner of the world where there is no witch haven still, this is like the end right here. Also, I don't think this house exists, exists either. Based on the people involved, it's going to be fishing related. Specifically, we are doing Sea Slug. We start by talking to Caroline here. Hello. Hello there. Is there any chance you could help me? What's wrong? It's my husband. He works on a fishing platform. Once a month, he takes our son, Kenneth, out with him. They usually write to me regularly. I've heard nothing all week. It's very strange. Maybe the post was lost. Maybe, but no one's heard from the other fishermen on the platform. Their families are becoming quite concerned. Is there any chance you could visit the platform and find out what's going on? Except, sea slug. I suppose so. How, how do I get there? That's very good of you, Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man, Arctic. My friend Holgart will take you there. Okay, I'll go and see if they're okay. I'll reward you for your time. It'll give me peace of mind to know Kenneth and my husband Kent are safe. All right. A fishing platform. No one's heard from them all week. Definitely concerning. If Holgard's right here, she probably has some reason to not go and check herself. Or just ask Holgart to go check. Because <laughs> he's the one that goes over there. Eh, let's, we'll see. Hello. Hello, me hearty. I would like a ride on your boat to the fishing platform. I'm afraid it isn't seaworthy. It's full of holes. To fill the holes, I'll need some swamp paste. Swamp paste? Yes, swamp tar mixed with the flour and heated over a fire. Where can I find swamp tar? Unfortunately, the only supply of swamp tar is in the swamps below Lumbridge. It's too far for an old man like me to travel. If you make me some swamp paste, I'll give you a ride in my boat. I'll see what I can do. 
That is quite the distance away. Having to go to Lumbridge. Eventually, there is going to be places where we could just purchase Swamp Paste. Which would be a bit more convenient. And even more over here in this side of the world. But as it stands, if we want to continue this quest, we need to head to Lumbridge Swamps. Which is very doable, because we can just teleport right over here. To Lumbridge. Fantastic. Then we also need a fire, and we need flour. So we're gonna grab a tinderbox and a pot. Chop a tree, which are easy to come by over here in the free to play area, since there's only regular trees. And then technically maybe a few oak trees near Remington, but we don't worry about those. Later on, more of these other kinds of trees will be here. It's gonna be a while until you trees are here in Lumbridge, but all right, it's fine. We can easily make a pot of flour. We've done that before. And we don't even need to juggle pie dishes and buckets of water and red berries and meat and shenanigans all over the Lumbridge countryside here. Just one easy pot of flour. No complications, no craziness. It just works. It just works. There we go. And now we just need to go get the Swamp Tar from down in the Lumbridge Swamp. Have to run around the crater area here. That's not really here yet. Running past the Drainer Jail. Good times in there. And down past where the fence would be to get over into the Lumbridge Swamps. Don't, don't come to the Lumbridge Swamps too often. There's still not a huge amount of stuff to do here yet. We will take this Swamp Tar here. One Swamp Tar. Should be good. Mix it with our pot of flour to get raw swamp paste. Light the logs. And it specifically said it needs to be on a fire. So here we go. Yeah, swamp paste. Perfect. And now we need to get back over to Ardoin. Which has never been easier since we've completed Plague City. Click. And here we are. Teleportation. It's it's pretty great. It's pretty great. So we just need to run back over here, talk to Holgart, give him the swamp paste, and then we should be good to go. Hello, Holgart. Hello, me hearty. Did you manage to make some swamp paste? Yes, I have some here. You give Holgart the swamp paste. We got a whole cutscene for this. Brilliant. Right, me hearty, let's get this boat fixed. Put some paste on it. Huzzah! We fixed this leaky old tub. Don't know how big the holes would be if a little bit of paste solved the problem, but if it works, it works, I suppose. All right. Hello, Holgart. Hello again, landlubber. There's some strange goings on on that platform, I tell you. Something strange going on, huh? Well, we need we still need to go there, so will you take me there? Of course, me hearty. If that's what you want. I suppose. You arrive at the fishing platform. Yep, looks like a fishing platform to me. We got fishing. <laughs> we didn't go very far either. We started right over there. Suppose 
But the fishing platform is just part of this area of the map. Since we're not doing the whole, you can't see any land like we do from some islands. Still can't see anything over in that way. That's okay. So here we go on the fishing platform. We've got a fisherman. Hello there. His eyes are staring vacantly into space. Below and deep. Below the deep. Deep blue she waits. Who waits? They came to her with fire and faith. Who? Who came to who? Too many. Too many. Too many what? Makes sense. Locked away for all eternity. You better start making sense, Sunny Jim. We're all free, soon to be free. And he smells of salty fish. That's that is much less concerning than what he just said there. Hey, Holgart. Have you had enough of this place yet? It's really starting to scare me. No, I'm gonna stay a while, unfortunately. Okay, you're the boss. <laughs> He's not gonna leave without us. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Then we also have sea slugs. Rather nasty looking crustacean. They're just all over the shop. We try to grab it. It sinks its teeth deep into your hand, and then we drop it again. So that didn't work. On the fishing platform, we've got some fishing spots. Makes a lot of sense. Another fisherman over here. Hello there. Still staring vacantly. Keep away, human. Leave or face the deep blue. Pardon? You will all end up in the blue. Deep, deep under the blue. Stay away, human, he says. Yeah, good, fantastic, just what you want. Let's look around. Here's Bailey. Hello there. What? Who are you? Come inside, quickly. What are you doing here? I'm trying to find out what happened to a boy named Kenneth. Oh, you mean Kent's son? He's around somewhere, probably hiding if he knows what's good for him. Hiding from what? What's got you so frightened? Haven't you seen all those things out there? The sea slugs? It all began about a week ago. And that tracks with the not getting any mail a week ago, too. So that makes sense. We pulled up a haul of deep sea flatfish. Mixed in with them, we found those slug things but thought nothing of it. Not long after that, my friends began to change. Now they spend all day pulling in hauls of fish, willing to throw back the fish and keep those nasty sea slugs. What am I supposed to do with those? I haven't figured out how to kill one yet. If I put them near the stove, they squirm and jump away. I doubt they would taste too good. There's no time for humor. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> this whole situation is already upsetting enough, clearly. That's okay. I just can't shake the feeling that this is the start of something terrible. Hmm. Yeah. Not ideal. Let's see what we can pick up here. We've got ropes, damp sticks, Always go for some more ropes. Always a good time. A more regular, well, regular fisherman might not be the correct word here. Some broken glass. Always grab everything you can, especially in these older quests. And more damp sticks are here. It's an infinite supply of damp sticks. Amazing. Ideal. So up stairs here, or up ladder I guess, 
You fishermen have anything else to say? Hello. Below the deep, she waits. She waits below the deep, they say. Hmm. It's probably fine. And one more bit of a building here. Where we find Kenneth. Are you okay, young one? No, I want my daddy. Where is your father? I haven't seen him. He went to get help days ago. The nasty fisherman tried to throw me and daddy into the sea, so he told me to hide here. That's good advice. You stay here, and I'll go try to find your father. Hopefully, this fisherman that walked inside this building didn't overhear our conversation there. And throw kind of into the sea. That is not ideal. Not good. Okay, so we know that Kent left and hasn't made it back. Holgart, something strange is going on here. You're telling me. None of the sailors seem to remember who I am. Apparently, Kent's, Kent's father left for help a couple days ago. That's a worry. No one's heard from him on shore. Come on, we better go look for him. You arrive on a small island. Could totally, totally see him from shore. <laughs> and from the fishing platform. Here is Kent. Yeah, this one got too much supplies here. His boat's broken. Yeah, definitely not an ideal situation. Although, just, just, just swim. Eh. Oh, thanks, Sarah Doman. I thought I'd be left out here forever. Your wife sent me to find you and your boy. Kenneth's fine, by the way. He's on the platform. I knew the rowboat wasn't seaworthy. I couldn't risk bringing him along, but you must get him off that platform. What's going on here? Five days ago, we pulled in a huge catch. As well as fish, we caught, caught small, slug-like creatures. Hundreds of them. That's when the fishermen began to act strange. It was the sea slugs. They attached themselves to your body and somehow take over the mind of the carrier. I told Kenneth to hide until I returned, but I was washed up here. Please go back and get my boy. You can send help for me later. Fair enough. Parker Ultimate Iron Man Arctic, wait. Shloop. He pulls a sea slug from under your top. A few more minutes and that thing would have had full control of your body. Yuck. Thanks, Kent. You can see slugs. You can see sea slugs. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm always up for not getting mind controlled by a slug. Sounds like a great plan. We'd better get back to the platform so we can see what's going on. You're right. It all sounds pretty creepy. So now, back on the fishing platform, we have to go rescue Kenneth. Let's go. He is back upstairs. But now, when we try to climb the ladder, the fishermen approach us and smack us on the head with a fishing rod, knocking us back down the ladder. We try to climb, we bapped in the head again. Apparently our helmet does nothing, and we can't just casually go back up the ladder. So that's not ideal. We can't really save Kenneth if we can't get up to Kenneth, clearly. Hey Holgart, wanna leave? Nope. Go talk to Bailey again. Right over here. Hello. 
Oh, thank the gods, it's you. They've all gone mad, I tell you. One of the fishermen tried to throw me into the sea. Yeah, they apparently do that. They're all being controlled by the sea slugs. I figured as much. I need to get Kenneth off this platform, but I can't get past the fishermen. The sea slugs are scared of heat. I figured that out when I tried to cook them. Quite the chef. Quite the chef. Here. Bailey gives you a torch. I doubt the fishermen will come near you if you can get this torch lit. The only problem is all the wood and flint are damp. I can't light a thing. Now, interestingly, we have our tinderbox here. But the tinderbox is damp from the sea crossing. It won't light here. But of course, once we actually leave, the tinderbox is going to be fine again. But we need to find a different way to light the torch. Using only materials found here on the fishing platform. A rope is not going to set things ablaze. We got damp sticks and broken glass. Using the broken glass, we get the sunlight onto the sticks, and now they are dry sticks. And then rub together the dry sticks, and they catch a light. We place the soldering twigs to the torch, and now the torch lights. So now we have a lit torch. Hey, you like my torch that I have? Doesn't seem to mind too much. Lost to us. She is lost to us. Who is lost? Trapped by the light. Lost and trapped. Er, uh, so you don't want to tell me then? Trapped in stone and darkness. Yeah. We use our lit torch on a sea slug here. Nothing happens. But it does curl up into its shell for a little bit. We still can't take the slug. Because even if we get it to curl up temporarily, it's just going to get out once we put the torch away and bite us. We can head upstairs. Apparently, the torch was enough to stop the fishermen from bonking us on the head. So that's good. And then we can go in here, see if Kenneth is doing okay. Hello, Kenneth. Are you okay? No, I want my daddy. You'll be able to see him soon. First, we need to get you back to land. Come with me to the boat. No! What? Why not? I'm scared of those nasty sea slugs. I won't go near them. Okay, you wait here, and I'll go figure out another way to get you out, get you out of here. Okay. Using our environment, we've got a crane. We can rotate the crane. Goes over there, and over there. And we can also kick this badly repaired wall. Kick loose the panel. The wood is rotten and crumbles away, leaving an opening big enough for Kenneth to climb th through. Also big enough for the sea slugs to climb through, but they could also probably fit between this barrel and stacked crate, so if they really wanted to get in here, they would, I suppose. Kenneth? I've made an opening in the wall. You can come out through there. Are there any sea slugs on the other side? Not one. How will I get downstairs? I'll figure that out in a moment. Okay, when you have, I'll come out. And our solution is the crane. Rotate the crane here. Kind of scrambles through the broken wall. We rotate the crane. He jumps on 
we lower it down to the waiting boat down below. Down below you see Hogart collect the boy from the crane and lead him away to safety. Perfect. And now we just need to get out of here. Although if Holgart left, <laughs> luckily he came back for us. Thanks, Holgart. Did you get the kid back to shore? Yes, he's safe and sound with his parents. Your turn to return to land now, adventurer. Looking forward to it. Let's get out of here. The boat arrives in Witchhaven. Fantastic. Talk to Caroline here. Hello. Brave Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man Arctic. You've returned. Kenneth told me about the strange goings on at the platform. I had no idea it was so serious. Could have lost my son and husband if it wasn't for you. We found Kent stranded on an island. Yes. Hogarth told me and sent a rescue party out. Kent's back home now, resting with Kenneth. I don't think he'll be doing any fishing for a while. Here, take these oyster pearls as a reward. They're worth quite a bit and can be used to make lethal crossbow bolts. Wow, thanks. And interestingly, we got the experience reward before the quest screen here. Fascinating. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man, Arctic. Quest complete. Sea slug. Very good. One quest point. An oyster pearls. We got access to the fishing platform, in case we really wanted to go back there again. And some fishing experience. With our 74 fishing, which is very good, would have gotten 14,975 fishing XP. So, less than half. That's a very reasonable amount of fishing experience, since it didn't require any fishing level in the first place. Only 30 fire making. I guess we look into what the quest requirements of things have been. Not too many quests have actually had stat requirements. Like Cook's Assistant has no requirements. Demon Slayer, no requirements. Restless Ghost had no requirements. Sheep Herder is a mini quest. Now, no requirements. Arav had no requirements. Ernst did Chicken, no requirements. They really start off with, you can just go do everything, for sure. Vampire Slayer, technically no requirements, but you have to fight a vampire. Imp Catcher, nothing. Prince Alley Rescue, nothing. And has also been replaced. Doric's Quest was nothing, but what's mine is yours was five smithing, which is still not a lot. And in a technical sense, Doric's Quest, which required iron ore, pretty much required 15 mining. That's okay. We were well past that point. And we're well past the point for a lot of quest requirements. It's only the once in a while situation where we actually need to train anything. Witch's Potion had no requirements. Knight's Sword required level 10 mining. But since it would have been after Doric's quest, we would have already had the mining requirement. Goblin Diplomacy was nothing. Pirate's Treasure, nothing. Dragon Slayer, technically nothing. Besides having enough quest points from the earlier quests. But of course, actually fighting the dragon, again. Requirement heavy. <laughs> By actually being able to win the fight. And then, Druidic Ritual, as the Introduction to the Herglor skill had no actual requirements. Lost City, we actually did have requirements. 
31 crafting and 36 wood cutting. Compared to the skilling requirements that predated Lost City, that's actually pretty significant. There was like what, 10 mining? That was like the only requirement. Yeah, 30, 30s skills, definitely a bit higher. It's also interesting to look at the release cadence of what would have been the highest level content and low level content. How it just kind of goes back and forth a bit. Witch's House had no requirements, but a bit of a boss fight. Merlin's Crystal had no requirements. And then there's Hero's Quest, which really got the requirements rolling. 25 Herblore on the same day that Herblore was released. Assuming you finished all the other quests, too. And then 50 Mining, 53 Cooking, and 53 Fishing. So we went from basically no requirements to 30s to 50s, just like that. Making the whole members update have a little bit more shelf life for people. Having to train your skills that much in order to get access to the Heroes Guild and all that. Bar Crawl had no requirements. Scorpion Catcher required access to the monastery. That's 31 prayer. Family Crest was again a bit of a higher requirement quest. 40 mining, which was already taken care of by heroes. 40 smithing, which if you have the mining for heroes, you probably got 40 smithing. Unless you sold all your ores or dropped them or something. And then 40 crafting is not too much more than Lost City. Just a f another nine levels. Still, a decent amount. Fishing contest was a fishing quest requiring 10 fishing. Again, very much covered by heroes. Monk's friend had no requirements. Temple of Ikov was 40 ranged and 42 thieving. Thieving being only slightly before that. If even. Yeah. So thieving did exist for a little bit before that. And tribal totem was actually the one that started with thieving. Yeah. 21 thieving on the day it released. And then clock tower, nothing. Holy grail was... 20 attack, and then later 30 attack, just because of Excalibur. Tree Gnome Village, no requirements. Fight Arena, no requirements. Again, boss fights, of course. Hazy Cult, nothing. Sheep Herder, nothing. Plague City, nothing. And then Sea Slug, was 30 fire making. We already have 46 from our various adventures. So there you go. And as a reward, one thing we kind of overlooked here was these oyster pearls. Now that is slightly interesting because now oyster pearls exist. Wild. You can get more of these as a reward from big net fishing. So previously when we were doing all that big net fishing in order to get caskets and stuff, we dropped all the oyster pearls because those didn't exist yet. Made the drop table slightly off, not in our favor. That's okay. Now if we want to do something with these oyster pearls, we could turn them into pearl-tipped crossbow bolts, which are just better 
than the regular crossbow bolts, but still not good at all because there's only the regular crossbow. Especially now that other bows and arrows exist. Getting a little bit stronger bolts just really does not do anything for you at this point. But what it does do is be worth a little bit of money. So we're going to sell these oyster pearls. Really. So essentially, the quest rewarded fishing experience and a little bit of gold. So that's nice. And that is basically everything for this update. There's also two new surters in Xanaris that can search your ores and bars. Basically the same as the ones in Drainer Village, but we are absolutely not going to be going to Xanaris right now. Especially just to look at a building where nobody is in anymore. That's, that's not what we're doing. Because going to Xanaris is a problem. It's like going to Entrana, but far, far more. Really, really cannot be done. So, we're not going to worry about that. We're also not really going to worry about the fishing platform existing anymore. It's there. Like with a lot of quest areas, there's not too much reason to go back. But we will technically be back there later for future quests and stuff. But for now, we're just going to drop all these sticks and torches and stuff. Don't really need any of these. And we're going to have an interesting quest. Similar to going to Entrana, but even more dangerous and other steps and lots of stuff. And luckily we've managed to keep what we need. So I think it's gonna work out just fine. Next time, goodbye. And one more completely random thing. It's time to open the box thing here. Not that we get to keep any of the rewards, except if there's anything cosmetic, I guess we can. 2023, where we open up a box and we get some things. There shouldn't be any regular coins in here, so it shouldn't stack or anything. We'd also probably just go to the money pouch anyways, but let's see what we would have gotten. It is Livid Plants, a two-handed swordfish, Captain Deathbeard's hook token, Crate of Fake Beards, a Crystal Triskelion, 40 Alchemist Keys, two Soul Reaper Refreshes, two Medium Clues, an Order Refresh, 25 Wargali Seeds, and 100 Green Charms. So we'll take all that. Wow, the, the keys come out. Not noted, huh? That's that's fantastic, thanks. Um, we can abandon the rest of the stuff in here. Don't need the keys. Well, we can't have any of these anyways, so. Abandon the rest of that. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We're just going to end up abandoning it anyway. Drop the rest of these alchemist keys out of here. And destroy the crystal triskelion. We need to assemble another one. Don't know if we're really going to do that, honestly. The process of getting a Triskelion key is daunting. Destroy, not inspect the livid plants. Be permanent and not, un not reclaimable, yes. And destroy all of those. The crate of fake beards has a variety of beards inside it. Wow, those don't match with our regular beard we have on at all. Amazing. Good. 
and we can actually get that back from Diango since it's cosmetic. We got the Captain Deathbeard's hook token. Unlock item <laughs> with no no information here. Okay, sure. Yes. We have unlocked that item cosmetically. Then there is the two-handed sword fish. Honestly, probably not a bad item to have for us, depending on what its stats are. Now it's level 40. It's going to be level 40 or level 1. That's not too good. It's a sword fish. Brilliant. Even if we did get that, a level 40 two-hander, not probably as good as a level 60 dragon long sword here. And we can get this back from Diango for a fee, so that's okay. Also, went and bought a few more runes, since I'm back over here in Port Serum. But now, for real, this is the end. I'm okay with getting a few cosmetics, but eventually we will be up to date and we'll be able to get our rewards from things. Not yet, though. Not yet. We've got, we got more of 2002, and then all the other years until we get there. Next time. Goodbye.